Hello everybody, thank you for watching this figure painting video. Um, it's greatly sped up. I've sped it, I've sped it up so it takes less than five minutes, or about five minutes. The actual recording, the full version, is about two hours and forty minutes. I will be uploading that. During it, I talk and uh, explain the thought processes I go through when picking out my image to use as uh, reference and what website I use, and I show you that website and several screen captures I uh, picked from that website. Um, and how I went about choosing which one I was going to use for this. I also explain exactly what I'm doing what, while I'm doing it, and, you know, I go over several different things, uh, what adjustments I'm making, why I'm making them. Uh, some of it I think I just resort to just rambling. I talk about what YouTube channels I follow and, and that kind of stuff, so ho hopefully when I post that you'll watch it, you'll enjoy it. Uh, back to the image here, uh, you see I had put I had did the initial sketch, which you saw blow by, and then I did a painting layer, uh, or I should say a palette layer, that's where you see that um, blob of color there. And that's where I picked my basic colors from, and then from that, once I had that firmly established, I did most of my color picking directly from the figure, and I deleted, uh, eventually you'll see me delete that whole layer, the one with the palette on it, because I stopped using it. Um, I do the painting under the sketch layer, and then I delete the sketch layer as soon as I can. Because um, I don't want it, that to hinder me, because I'm not just copying it directly, because the sketch isn't good enough to work from it. Way It's just a basic. Um, and because you, you'll see, I adjust the anatomy right up until the very end. In fact, uh, towards the end, I think I spent like 20 minutes just working on the head position alone. It was crazy. Because um, there was something that wasn't reading right to me, but it took a while to work it out, and if you watch the full form video, you'll see exactly what that is and why. Uh, as I'm painting, I try and follow the form. I try and make my brush strokes follow the curvature of the figure um, so that things fit, that are round fit, read more rounded, etc. And I try and work from the center of the value range outward and then it could, so I can go darker and lighter but I usually start from the mid-tone range um, yeah that's that's pretty much it uh, if you like the video like the video uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel spread it to your friends and family uh, yeah and if you get a chance to watch that long form video and uh, it is long it is uh, like I said it's almost three hours long but maybe you'll learn something from it. I know I personally love watching long form videos. Um, but usually the ones I watch are probably better scripted and, well, scripted to begin with instead of just uh, mine, which was completely unscripted. But uh, I did the audio at the same time I was doing the uh, painting. So I'm talking while I'm actually working, which is kind of unusual for me because usually I listen to music when I'm painting. So, so it's a little bit different uh, for me, especially while trying to explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it. It's just, that's a whole new thing for me. I'm not used to doing it. Unless I was in a Google Plus Hangout, hangout then I uh, field questions while I'm doing that. Uh, if you'd like to uh, be in a Google Plus Hangout with me anytime, just let me know. Uh, you can look me up there. I'm on Facebook. I am on Twitter, although I very rarely actually check it. Um, so that's probably not the best place to communicate with me. Google Plus and Facebook are your best bet. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about it. Enjoy watching this come to completion. And uh, any questions, comments, concerns, leave it below and I'll try and address them in future videos. And uh, Considering taking up vlogging, I haven't done that yet, but uh, maybe in the near future I will. Alright, enjoy.